Operation Learning Set 1, or, or 2, I can't remember which one we are now. Uh, we investigated the experiential learning, so we looked at, I suppose most people are familiar with it through Cole's learning cycle, so it is learning by experience, reflecting on it. Um, we've not quite got the themes as we would like them, because there's quite a lot of complexity, but on here we're talking about the underpinning philosophies of experiential learning, which is experiential education, um, which was um, developed by a guy called John Dewey, I think he's one of the first people who's a sort of pragmatist philosopher, um, who is identifying that if we want to learn something, the, the action and, and experience of learning by doing and then reflecting on it, that underpins experiential learning. So it's a slightly different, it's more about the institutions and the frameworks in which experiential learning takes place. Um, and then actual experiential learning is really the process a learner goes through to um, experience, reflect um, and to um, uh, and understand the nature of the experience and draw learning from it. So that's the sort of Kolb learning cycle but also the, um, the extensions of that by Gibbs. So which is which is this sort of... So you sort of got Kolb on one side yeah. of, the, of the wiggly line and the Gibbs Sort of the emotional, and additional, yeah. mainly the emotional side. Um, and then mm. we lifted out feedback as a separate issue. So, group feedback, individual feedback, the role of the facilitator in, in, in uh, mediating the, the experience. Um, we were thinking about some of the things about the learner and how the learner engages. So, we were thinking about some issues around strategic learning. So, whereby people are choosing to engage with it in different ways depending on whether they're a deep or a surface learner or, and how they look for cues. Um, and then we're starting to establish things that are just around the practice elements of engaging with experiential learning. But we've, we've, we're still a way off mm. getting our final categories, but it's basically the philosophy, the cycle, feedback within the cycle, because I think it was deserving of, and, it, and mm. it's from our point of view, well, from my point of view, certainly, how you get feedback is, is, is one of the most difficult thorny issues that, that I'm getting at the moment mm -hmm. um, and then to think about the learner um, and learning the learner's individual strategies and then finally around the practices but we're, we're not quite there yet but that's basically the underlying structure we were starting to get. And I think what we're trying to, uh, to emphasise with this that um, for, experience, for experiential learning it's not enough to simply have the experience to have fun which you can see is not sort of quite attached to anything over there having fun isn't enough you have to actually um, engage with the experience have some sort of um, in, in, intent with it be able to reflect on it some emotional engagement and then be able to create meaning so from it because we need some more chat for it are there any uh, questions? Did you talk about how you apply it as well? Yeah, there were the, the practice elements, but we, we, we hadn't got quite as far with the practice side of things. Um, but how would you do the practice? I mean, the, the, uh, the feedback, I think, was reasonably yes. well developed, but actually mm -hmm. understanding... Natural versus yeah, staged yeah, experience, whether you, you, know, you, you immerse somebody in, somebody in an actual real-life experience or whether you create a sort of simulated experience. But also, how you bring that up. The, how you take that experience and take it back to the application of what it's supposed to be relevant mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. That's the hard part. Yeah, yeah. Hard yeah. Part. But so hopefully that comes with a reflection which could be done yeah. individually in groups or facilitated by the teacher because with experiential learning it, it can happen either with or without a facilitator stroke yeah. teacher. It can be done on an individual mm -hmm. level at a group collaborative level or with a teacher facilitator sort of leading and guiding the, the reflection and helping the, the group as a whole to create some kind of meaning. On the experience, rather than simply having the experience, yeah, it wasn't that a nice day out, but yeah, actually make something of it. With all of these types of sort of slightly philosophical things, there's a lot of variations on a the theme and a lot of semantics involved in it. Mm. So, actually, there's quite a lot of stuff to unpick before we'd actually. I think we could shrink this down with more reflection on on the different aspects of the literature, and I think we could be simplifying a lot more. But yeah, there's a lot of You've got to do that first. There's a lot of these mm. people say this is what experiential learning is, and then they all say different things. And, and there's a paper by ITAM which we shared among our group, 
um, and you know, and the difference between experiential learning and experiential education, and people use it interchangeably. Mm. I think this is one of the situations where, like, the, the the precision of meaning is 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 invaluable when you you know to know exactly what you mean and have a shared meaning is is really important in these types of sort of philosophical pursuits. Mm. But I think also well, you've got a branch there that's focused on the student experience, haven't you? Mm. That is it's a very, to me, experiential learning is a very personal, subjective experience that you mm. take from it. But it's a bit like not just being there, yeah. but being there and being engaged. And mm -hmm. you know, it, it is very subjective. It's there's difficult to come up with yeah. agreement, which is why you have all these difficulties with semantics. Yeah. There's a good yeah. quote from Winter, who's like a, um, as was a management or a management theory, is saying. He hasn't had ten years' experience. He's had one year' experience yeah, ten times over, so, which is yeah. a really, yeah. Yeah. a really good sort of point. That actually, yeah. if it is learning centred, there is, you know, it's like gym membership, isn't it? There's a, there's a responsibility of the learner to engage as well.